All right, just skipped over one more time. Let's speed this process up a bit. I'm gonna shrink this door down to roughly the uh, same height as my prop door. Okay, now this is going to be our sliding door. Uh, you've probably seen this in many other maps, kind of like a lab door type style. Um, and if you're never sure whether or not you've just created something and you're not uh, a door and you don't know if it's big enough, just use your little Gordon there for reference. Hit your Entities tool and place them down. But uh, I know that's big enough, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Now, once again, we want to make a frame around our door. I'm just going to extend my, uh, my door a bit so it... You can make this door uh, collide or mate with um, your brushes. It won't won't interfere with anything. You can actually have it pass through them if you want, but that's kind of sloppy. There's no need for that. All right, so let's finish this up. And I'll show you how to tie it to the function. Zoom in. Here, let me... Uh, there. You can see what I'm doing a bit better. All right, uh, let's get over here, and we'll drag that. Make sure that's all made it up, nice and even and flush. Okay, so when I step back here, I'm going to change the texture of my door now. There's no need to have that anything else. So I've just gone into my uh, textures. Uh, face edit sheet and I hit browse or you can just go over to the corner where it normally is over there uh, to hit browse but we're gonna go down to our filter and we're gonna type in uh, door and that's gonna come up with all of our door textures which as you can see there is a crap load of them now this uh, two things the dev textures which I'll cover after we do the doors and inputs and outputs and what they do now this is probably this door here, which is um, the dev slash dev uh, uh, lower, what is that, lower metal door uh, 02A. This one is probably the best door texture to work with. Why? Because when you hit fit, um, I'm going to rotate it the wrong way. Rotate the uh, 90 degrees if that happens to you. Now hit fit. You can get that to uh, set up appropriately if you want the little thing on the bottom like in the texture just uh, rotate it 180 degrees I'm sorry another 90 degrees ought to do it no negative 90 that's what I meant <laughs> always get confused with this shit there you go negative 90 degrees and now go around to the back side apply and uh, you can do the sides of the door if you want it doesn't really matter um, if you are going to see a side of it though, so make sure you do at least one side of it. And then we'll determine exactly which direction we want our door to open after this. So I'm going to show you how to make this slide. Uh, some people will try to tell you to use the carve tool to make a uh, slot for your door to slide into. I started doing this originally. It's a mistake and it's stupid. There's no reason to do it at all. We're going to have this door slide up because we don't have a whole lot of room to work with here. Um, so, you're going to click on your brush or your door itself. I want you to double click and then you're going to hit Control T, which is tied to an entity. Alternatively, I believe it's under the tools here. Hit the tools tab and you can go down to um, tie to entity, which you can see the hotkey is Control T. So, once you do that, you'll notice that it's now an entity. It comes up with a little property screen and everything. Uh, we're going to take this as a uh, funk detail. We don't want that. So we're going to type in funk, F-U-N-C, underscore, door. All right, now we're going to hit apply. All right, now it's a door. It will open. So let's just check our spawn flags. Uh, starts open, which is now obsolete. You can just use the spawn position key value. Uh, Non-solid to player which means that if you had to click that it would you just simply pass through it it would be like an invisible wall kind of thing or it would be a, a visible um, door but it would be more like an illusion you just pass through it uh, passable I think just means similar to this except that everything can pass through it I can't remember exactly what passable means toggle um, you might want this uh, toggle means that 
you can open and close it like if you were toggling a button like on and off you can open and close the door use opens is probably what you're gonna want for this door for the time being um, 